The Football is presented by Allstate. You've never been in better hands. Big one on deck for Georgia in a battle of wills. Will it be offense or defense that comes out on top next week? Florida returning to action after three weeks off. Due to COVID-related issues, reports that they're missing three defensive backs and a couple of offensive linemen in tonight's game against Missouri. But both head coaches at Florida and Missouri played it close to the vest this week. Stetson Bennett with the toss. Here's James Cook. And with four minutes to go in the game, Georgia up 11, Cooks, uh, Cook rips off the big one. Georgia top 20 in the country, and points allowed per game. That number's going to go down after this one. And Florida's averaging better than 42 points a game. That's 10th best in the country. What gives? Well, I think Florida's going to be able to put up points. The question is, can they do it in the same manner that Alabama did? I'm not sure, but to me, after watching this game, 14 points against Kentucky, and, and all respect to Kentucky's defense, they've played stellar at moments this year but george has got to be able to score more than 14 points against kentucky because they're going to be judged against florida who puts up points they got to keep pace with that eventually they'd love to have another opportunity at alabama which this type of offensive performance is not going to cut it against either of those teams i think meeting november 7th next saturday latest meeting on the calendar since 1990 I just want to get this fucking game over with. Man. And rolling. They got a, they got a lot Georgia of shit. Stays this way, there might be some folks nationally who look at this and go 14 to three. Boy, Georgia really struggled. They, they got, got a lot of shit to handle, man. With this fucking offense. And that, and that the quarterback situation, but they I definitely feel like have to had a adjust. Grasp of this game for they're gonna have to stuff. make some diff They're gonna have to make some changes. If they actually want to win the SEC championship and beat Alabama, the stats have been there ain't the fucking answer. It's that fucking simple. We should be blunt. We should, we should have won this game by at least three scores, man. 14 to fucking three. They have to do it. They have to fix the terminals. They have to fix this shit up, man. Take steps in the As you've been told, their best option right now. He is not the best he option. Sure I don't even see what JT Davis can do. Can raise their level they ain't never put him on the fucking field. We get these elite he quarterbacks, don't, don't never use them. They go to other teams and right make the team now, way better. I want to circle back to that. As they work clock here and have two minutes to play, and Jameer White will get another touch. Reading between the lines, the way the coaches spoke to us about the quarterback position, it's not just that Stetson Bennett is their best option right now, but it seems he has proven day in and day out to be the best option going forward. First start, timeout, Kentucky. 153 remaining. Kentucky will stop the clock for the first time this half. 